What's up everyone? I'm Jason. This is my studio. Welcome. Today I'm going to attempt to answer a question I've been asked a lot of times. Um, it's the question we get asked the most about our travels and probably in general. Um, if you're not familiar with what we did last summer, we took a pretty epic adventure. Check the description below. I'll put a link in there for you. You can check it out. Uh, the question we get asked the most about our travels is... The question we get asked the most about our travels is probably the most fundamental. How did you create your route? And this is a question I've spent more hours than I care to admit figuring out. But our team last year retraced the Oregon Trail in reverse from Oregon City, Oregon to Independence, Missouri. We went through seven states, 44 days, lived in our vehicles all off-road. It was pretty crazy, but to do this we needed two points on a map. Pretty obvious. We picked Oregon City and Independence, Missouri being that was the start and the end point of the Oregon Trail. Pretty obvious, right? So pick your two points, whatever that is, um, mountain to lake, river to river. For the purposes of this video, it's going to be tailored a little bit more towards off-road travel because that's what we do. So pick your two points and let's get started there. Okay, so the program we're going to be using for the map creation is called Scribble Map. It's free. I'll put the link below just in case you can't find it. There's all kinds of map creators out there. This is just the one that I found works the best for me. It's a pretty easy program to use, um, pretty straightforward. So let's get started and dig into the meat of this thing. Okay, I've already picked two points on a map. Um, this is actually part of the Oregon Trail route that we did. A couple of things before we get started. Uh, here's your cursor tools up here, menu, um, pointer tool, hand tool, and your line tool. And those are pretty much the only ones you're going to use. Occasionally you'll use the place marker and that's what I used for um, these flags. A couple things you might want to do if you click down here at the bottom um, to this area, there you can little gear cog there. Um, go ahead and switch it uh, to Imperial. Um, and that'll give you the, the miles instead of kilometers, which makes it a little easier for us. So, <clears throat> just a couple of shortcuts. So pretty much the tool that you're going to be using primarily is this line tool right here. Um, just a quick thing, if you select that, um, you can draw a line there. Um, if you want to move the map around and you don't want to keep going up here and switching, you can push the shift key and then you can move the map around and then recreate your line. And I like to zoom in on the screen and then let's um, zoom in here. Now, uh, something else I like to do before I get started is if you see this here, this is your line tool. <clears throat> um, it's red now, we'll go with green. And then I'm going to start my line and I'm just double clicking um, to zoom in on the map. You can be as detailed or as non-detailed as you want, but when you zoom in, the more detailed you are, the better your map's going to be. Okay, we're zoomed in pretty far there. This is essentially like as if you were walking it. So we're going to go ahead and select the line tool, um, and I'm going to go ahead and drag my line. So as you can see, it's just a straight line that I'm drawing in different segments. Now, once I've started to create my line, one thing I'm going to go do is click this and go back to red. And the reason I do that is because the only way to get an accurate mileage is if you continue the same line throughout. Well, the problem with that is, is if you use a <clears throat> same color line, you never know if you've, you've accidentally recreated a new line. And so that's why I switch it to red. Now, if I go back to my line tool, you can click here and you'll see this little circle pop up and that's how you know you've selected that same line and you can drag it through and even though it shows red up here it drags green because I'm dragging that green line. Now watch what happens if I accidentally create a new line. Boom! It turns red. And that's the reason I do that because when I go back to my pointer tool here and I click on this you can see my mileage is 0 0.08 miles and so that basically gives me a semi-accurate mileage of how my long my line is. So I'm going to drag this forward. Oops, see, I created a uh, new line there. So that's why I do that. Um, I'm not going to bore you too much. Let's speed this up a little bit, and, um, and then you don't have to watch me create this whole thing. Something I forgot, else I forgot to mention was um, if you screw up 
um, you can do one of two things. You can grab this pointer tool and you can bring it down to here and it'll create all these uh, squares and circles. Um, and you can grab those and you can stretch them out and stretch them back to where you need to be. Pull them out, pull them in. Um, or if you want to just erase it, you'll see it kind of highlights the square uh, that you're deleting and you can delete one square at a time. And that's basically the line that you drug. Um, so you can do it one of two ways to adjust your line if you messed up. But as you can see now, I'm going to check my mileage um, and I'll zoom out here so you can see it'll highlight the whole line here. So as you can see, this takes a long time. Um, I've been sitting here for uh, probably 10 minutes um, and I've gotten 12 miles. So um, it takes a bit of time to do. And again, depending on how far you're zoomed in is how long it's going to take you. But your map will be more accurate if you're more zoomed in. And you'll find that sweet spot for the terrain that you're in, you know, the, where, where you liked it zoomed. And you can see I still have a ways to go, so I'm going to speed it up here again. Let's see if we can't get this thing done. Okay, so we're uh, just rounding the corner here to the end. There we go. We're there. Okay. Okay, so we've got the map created. You spent hours and hours doing it, and now what? Um, I'm going to show you how to export it to your computer. How you export it to your device is kind of up to you. Um, there's a lot of different devices and a lot of different ways to get them on there. Um, the GPX file format is going to be what you're looking for. I will also dive into just really quickly how I cross-referenced an old Oregon Trail map um, and made my own based on that. So first we're going to go to uh, Menu. Um, and down here on the second where it says export map, you're going to export it to GPX. There's also KML, which is uh, Google Earth. you got to save it before you um, do it. So I'm going to call this uh, Abbott Road. And we'll say Oregon Trail route down there. This is something else you might want to take into consideration too. You can auto save it. Um, every five minutes so uh, that way it saves so you don't lose all your uh, your data if it crashes for some weird reason um, I'm going to go to continue working click out of this menu since we have saved it now we can export it from there you can put it on your desktop that way you can find it because I hate putting files places and not being able to find it and I'll put the link below for the Oregon Trail map that I used um, you can use it for anything but basically here I am at my map of the Oregon Trail and so when I started I basically zoomed in on this map and it gives you a pretty pretty good description of like where the trail went you can actually do an image map so you can actually see where it goes on a satellite view and so then I just followed that and I tried to find dirt roads that were as close to this route as possible without hitting private property and all that and so that's basically what I did to create my route um, and that's pretty much the gist of it all right, so as you can see, it's a little tedious. It takes a long time to get all that done, um, but in the end, it's worth it because you had a map and a way to get to where you want to be. So uh, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to our channel um, and comment below. Let me know that you liked it, you hated it, you want to see something different. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.